Hey, what's up guys? Jeff Juan Cristiano here for Beard Brand, and I want to bring you a very special video today. It is YouTube's very first beard tour video, so let's get to it. So there's a few things I want to go over in today's tour. I want to go over some parts of my beard, a little bit about it, and a little bit of the history, and all that little things. So let's start with the specs. So I've had my beard for about five or six years. Now I've shaved it off in the summers for like a beard stash or a mustache. However, I keep going back to it because it's just something that I really find most comfortable and the style that I like that suits me at this current time. As far as my favorite memory of this beard is probably when I hit the top three on Reddit's R beards for, I don't know, maybe nine to 12 months, somewhere along there. I just stayed up there and that was really great, followed by the BuzzFeed article and all of the attention that that brought me. I was able to grow facial hair when I was really young, like around 16 or so, but I had a couple sparse hairs on my mustache and had a very small goatee. But I do remember in eighth grade where it was a thing that I was one of the few people who could actually get any hair on their face. There wasn't much, but it was there. So currently I am rocking a shorter to mid-length beard it's my preferred length. Um, this is usually a little longer than I like, but I am going for something in the future for the summer. As far as beard lengths and my opinions, I like to change it up. If you look at my other videos, you'll see I change often and I look at them as different styles and experimenting and seeing what kind of effect that has on me and my style. It doesn't really drive things. It's more of a accompaniment to my style at the moment. Generally speaking, I like it short because for me and my body type and my build, I prefer it shorter and tighter. Uh, if I was heavier, I would go fuller, or if I was taller, I would go longer. I just think that when you complement your body type and your actual physical proportions, that beard suits you your best. So the first part I want to talk about is my mustache, and it's probably my favorite part of my whole facial hair setup because I feel like it's unique and a lot of people don't share the same mustache growth as myself. So I'm very proud of it. And one of the things that I do to emphasize that, which actually brought on all the real attention that I got from my beard is when I stopped trimming my mustache altogether, like not at all. If I have one weird straggly hair, I even leave that. I don't trim it at all. The only time I do is on the outside here, I'll get a couple really, really long split ends. That's it. But that's my secret to the mustache. As far as somebody who shares the same genetics that treats it slightly different is my brother. He actually trims the underneath the shorter hairs so that he can actually manage it. And it works because it still lays flat and over itself. What I don't think is the best idea is when people trim it so that the mustache hairs are there. I think they should kind of grow on top of each other. And that gives it that full, rich body. Moving on from there is the cheeks. And I don't trim the cheeks. I may clean them up very, very subtly, uh, but I don't shave them or anything. I think it looks a little try hard on me. Some people it suits really well because it fits their style. There is no wrong way, but I do think that when you actually just let that area grow, even if it just grows a little short like mine is, it really makes the whole beard just feel full and nice and tapered and it's just a little bit organic and just a little bit more rugged. I find that when I trim that, I get no compliments. When I grow it, they people respond a lot better. So I do that for me. Again, it fits my style of a little bit more casual and uh, that's what I like. Moving backwards from there is more of the sideburns area. And I used to trim up those and taper them into my haircut. And, but recently I've been experimenting with actually growing them kind of long. And the reason I started doing that was because I noticed that my head started having this little taper kind of in the middle and I would have to brush it out and it was a lot of effort. So what I would do was grow that out so I had the puff there as well and I had less maintenance I had to do and less brushing. So now my head kind of just went straight up. And then if I had tight on the sides haircut, it kind of went nice and tight and actually added to the illusion of thinness uh, in my overall look. Coming down to the corners, I have just a normal corner, but I have cowlicks there, so I really have to put a little bit of Beard Brand wax in there 
and just kind of finagle it. Sometimes I trim them up to the ears so there's a nice clean line. But generally speaking, I kind of just don't do really much special there because it's just a problem area. I try to leave it longer so I have materials to wax or shape or something with product instead of trying to get rid of it unless I'm going really short. So moving down underneath that, I have my neckline. And the neckline, as I mentioned in the neckline video, is about a finger on the Adam's apple and then a finger above that. That's where it is, right where you fold your neck. And that's where I generally trim within that. I strongly suggest that being your neckline area. It should be that way even if your beard grows long. Just keep it there. That's where it should be. End of story. Next here I have is the gobbler area. And I tend to just keep that as a ratio that I mentioned in the athletic beard video. And I like how it's proportioned to my jaw. If I really wanted to go back to a full long length beard, I would have to let that go. And I find it really annoying because anytime I look down or something, it would just get stuck. So I like to keep that a little bit shorter, meaning I keep everything shorter. So coming forward to the jaw chin area, I have this area as a part that I really keep as long as possible for most of my styles. I just don't trim it whatsoever up into the square of the jaw. It's just generally full and nice and sometimes it gets curly. If it gets a little longer than it is now, it gets really wavy. So there's a cut point that I usually trim at and it's right at that first, first little wave. Next I have the under the lip. It's usually pretty blonde and shorter than everything else, but it doesn't need much maintenance whatsoever. And then outside under the side of the lip, it can look really thin and uh, blonde there too. So it gives it kind of like a hook type of look. And if we look underneath the mustache, that does connect fully. I'm like, I like that, but it also does mean that it pushes my mustache around quite a bit and can actually make my beard look worse a lot of times. So if you don't have that, which I know a lot of people don't, it's not always perfect and awesome. So if you haven't seen how I care for videos, my general thing is that I use a brush, beard oil, and the mustache wax. I don't really use anything else on my beard for now. I think it just suits the style that I'm preferring right now. So that's it, that's the beard tour video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, beard on. And now that you've made it to the end of the video, be sure to treat yourself with some awesome beard brand products over at the shop here. And if you're not already a subscriber, please do that and enjoy the videos. Till next time, beard on.